Welcome to another Mobotics video tutorial. We are going to demonstrate how to configure another Mobotics certified app and more specifically the Vaxtor Genesis app. With this OCR or optical character recognition app, you are able to record and afterwards control the codes relevant for your business. Let's go to the app configuration. To do so, locate the setup menu and under certified app control, select certified apps settings. Locate the app and select the checkbox. Press set and afterwards click on the app to go into the settings. Depending on the code you want to detect, you need to set the grammar. In this example, the code is going to consist of four numbers, one letter, and then another number. So the grammar will look like this. You can add more codes, and if you want, by activating Grammar Strict will only recognize codes that match your grammar. Next, you can select the orientation that the code will come. Enable or disable the MX message and the overlay. And afterwards, you need to set the recognition area. Press Edit Rectangle. Select the area that you want. And confirm. Next option is to set the list management. Here you can add codes to a white or black list and filter them or trigger alarms if those codes appear. The next menu is the video, where you can set the expected min and max height of the code, which sensor you want to use for the app, where you will preview the code, and the resolution. Afterwards, you can set the min and max code length. In the environment menu, you have options regarding how often and how many times a code will be recognized. For example, here I want the same code to be recognized again after 10 seconds. Under reporting, you can select between the different options where you want the camera to forward the recognized code, such as the analytics events, Mobotics Hub, and others. After you are done with the configuration, press set and close to store the settings. Let's test the app now. You can see as soon as the box with the code appears, it is quickly recognized and the information is then forwarded to the device or software that you selected to notify. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next tutorial.